welcome to the latest news from journalist Yannick Garcia. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates on top stories. Wish you happy news. I wish you a good day. Good luck. Iran holds pro-government rallies after protests. Before the college basketball season started last month, USC and Washington appeared headed in opposite directions. USC, ranked among the nation's top 10 teams in the preseason, returned a deep, talented roster from last year's NCAA tournament squad. The Huskies, meanwhile, were picked to finish 10th in the Pac-12 under first-year coach Mike Hopkins. But the early season promise for USC faded Friday night as Washington defeated the Trojans 88-81 in the Pac-12 opener for both teams. The season is still young. But USC's uninspired performance in front of an equally uninspired crowd of 3,104 at the Galen Center, the in-game host had to beg fans to make noise, raised questions about the team's direction. Our defense was just terrible, USC coach Andy Enfield said. We played soft. I was very disappointed in some of our upperclassmen defensively. They have to go home and look in the mirror and come back and play better basketball if we're going to have a chance to win games in this league. USC, 9-5, ended the non-conference portion of its schedule by winning three games to capture the Diamond Head Classic in Hawaii. But worrisome signs preceded the tournament, losses in four of six games and a leaky defense that ranked 207th in the country in points allowed entering Friday's game. USC cut Washington's lead to five points after a layup by junior Benny Boatwright with 12-16 remaining. Dubai, Reuters, and well nationwide pro-government rallies were held in Iran on Saturday to mark the end of the unrest that shook the country in 2009, state media reported, a day after price protests turned political in a dozen cities. State television showed a rally in the capital Tehran and marchers carrying banners in support of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei in Iran's second largest city of Mashhad. Hundreds of people took to the streets there on Thursday to protest against high prices and shouted anti government slogans. On Friday, police dispersed anti government demonstrators in the western city of Kermanshah as protests spread to Tehran and several other cities in the largest wave of demonstrations since nationwide pro reform unrest in 2009. Police arrested 52 people in Thursday's protests, according to a judicial official in Mashhad, one of the holiest places in Shiite Islam. The United States condemned the arrests, with President Donald Trump tweeting. Iranian government should respect their people's rights, including right to express themselves. The world is watching. The outbreak of unrest reflects growing discontent over rising prices and alleged corruption, as well as concern about the Islamic Republic's costly involvement in regional conflicts such as those in Syria and Iraq. The Revolutionary Guards, which along with its besieged militia spearheaded a crackdown against protesters in 2009 said in a statement carried by state media that there were efforts to repeat that year's unrest but added, the Iranian nation, will not allow the country to be hurt. State television said rallies were scheduled to be held in more than 1,200 cities and towns on Saturday. The events have been held annually since 2009. Openly political protests are rare in Iran, where security services are omnipresent. The last outbreak of significant unrest occurred in 2009 when Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's re-election as president ignited eight months of street protests. Pro-reform rivals said the vote was rigged. However, demonstrations are often held by workers over layoffs or non-payment of salaries and by people who hold deposits in non-regulated, bankrupt financial institutions. Prominent conservative cleric Ayatollah Ahmad Alamoloda called earlier for tough action against the protests. Vice President Heshak Jahangiri, a close ally of President Hassan Rouhani, suggested that hardline conservative opponents of the pragmatist president might have triggered the protests but lost control of them. Those who are behind such events will burn their own fingers, state media quoted him as saying. Rouhani's leading achievement, a 2015 deal with world powers that curbed Iran's disputed nuclear program in return for a lifting of most international sanctions, has yet to bring the broad economic benefits the government says are coming. 
unemployment stood at 12.4% this fiscal year. Out of a population of 80 million, about 3.2 million Iranians are jobless.